Hi, spreadsheet lovers. I'm Fitzpatrick Kapepe, your financial modeling coach. And today I'll take you on a very smooth journey of mastering uh, number formats, in particular on how to mask a cell. It is very important to understand some few tricks that would actually help you clean up your, your spreadsheet, clean up your work, and make it more professional. I believe about presentation because pre presentation is a key. Whether what you have actually written there or what you have modeled is rubbish, but as long as the presentation is good, it will take a very savvy financial modeling auditor to understand the problems that your spreadsheet would actually create. So let's actually get on this trip and be that person that should be very good at using Microsoft Excel. So here we'll show profit before tax. Let's say profit before tax is 40 or 400. Here we'll show net profit. I'll mask this. This is a sale. What I want is if there is a positive figure, it should show corporate tax. That is if there is a positive figure. If it is a negative figure, if we have a negative uh, profit, which is basically a loss, it should actually show loss. If it's zero, let it actually show zero there. Mm -hmm. So we'll go to number formatting. You can do control one. You go to customization. Under customization, we'll come up with the, these three arguments. So I'll say was speech marks, which is two inverted commas. Then we say if it is positive, let it show corporate tax. If it is negative, let it show losses. If it is just a zero, let it show zero there. Then we'll multiply the profit before tax times this cell, which is D5. I have to change the format there. I have to get this format from here. Are we there? Are you following? Mm -hmm. So from here now, with that number formatting that I've customized, remember that there are three arguments. If it is a positive, let that cell not show a figure. It should actually instead mask that figure. It should show corporate tax. If it is a negative, let it also show losses as in terms of the narrative. Then if it is a zero, let it be just as called as zero. So what we're actually doing here is not what your eyes see. That is what it is. Even just basically in life, we see things that we see using our eyes. Obviously, we have to use our eyes to see. They are not as correct as what your mind sees. I've always told people about my models that if you are using my model, you see a dot, just a full stop or whatever it is, do not delete it. Maybe I've just masked it. It is a decoy, you can't see it. So here, if we say it is positive 30, 
Don't mind the net profit uh, argument there. It is not backed by any technical or accounting <laughs> uh, principles. It's just just there to, to 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 put my case clearly for you to understand. Obviously, you cannot say 400 times 30, then you get your net profit down. It doesn't make sense at all. But I just want you to watch what is in D5, the one that I have highlighted. You have seen it's showing 30 there because it's a positive. Once I enter, it is actually going to show corporate tax like this. If you get back, you see it is 30. You are able to see it 30 up there. But in the sale, you will not be able to see it. It has been masked. Now, if it is a negative in that sale, using this number formatting, you, you can you can sue, innovate, you can be creative, you can create a model that will have these, all these other things, but it just has to make sense. So if it is a negative, for example, I say negative nine, or I type negative nine, yeah, I could see negative nine. The moment I enter, it shows losses. If I get back into that particular sale, and I enter a zero or type in zero like this, it should be able to show that it is a zero. So what I'm saying is these are just basic principles of life. Sometimes things that we are able to see with our own eyes might not really be what they are. So even in financial modeling, we are able to create these simple, simple techniques tactics just to hide one or two things because we don't want to show these figures someone may end up deleting them or something like that so if i give you my model and you see my name face patrick don't delete that name maybe that name is is is, is a, an engine to the model itself the moment you delete it you are actually going to disturb all the other figures in the model. So this topic was basically only masking. Thank you so much.